Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, PGA professional, teaching specialist, been doing this for 40 years. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy today's video. Let's get to it. Psst, hey Moo, I got a secret to show you that Mo Norman showed me back in the day. This was in the late 90s. Okay. And um, he talked about his downswing being initialized by his lead knee. Now, Mo was lead hand dominant, okay. but that particular, tra it, it translates beautifully in my right hand and my left handed swing. So let's get to it. As you complete the backswing, what's important as you make a full turn, your whole backside, that includes your butt, is turning toward the target. And when that happens, your lead knee is going to rotate in behind the ball and your heel is going to come off the ground. So Mo, when he was in, in his prime, had an overlapping grip, had a huge turn with that heel coming off the ground, and he actually was at pretty much at parallel. It's cool. So we only saw Mo in his later years when he really caught the attention of, you know, of everybody, mm -hmm. um, where... You know, he was getting older and his swing was more compact. But in his heyday, his swing at the top was parallel and it looked very much like Ben Hogan's. Okay? Nice. Yeah. So he felt that his downswing was started by returning that lead knee towards the target. And as you did that, it created a chain of events called the human kinetic chain. So as I allow my lead side to come in, now in the downswing, we reverse that and we feel like the movement of towards the target, as we plant that left leg, there's a returning action to compress that lead side and initiate that kinetic chain. So as you squat back into the lead side, you feel this rotation of the left, the left knee your right knee yeah. as you're moving back towards the target. So it returns and it feels like the arm club unit gets pulled through by that lead knee. So it's gonna look like this. Gather all the way and the lead knee rotates and brings everything back. Great shot. And that is right over the flag stick. There's my 170 yard seven iron. And look at that gorgeous draw. So if we look at contact, see how gorgeous that was? Right in the center of that club face, you can see I've collected it slightly open and it's releasing slightly closed. And there's that gorgeous shot starting out to the right and drawing right back. So there's a stock 170 yard carry with my blade seven iron and, um, you know, a really gorgeous returning of that draw. I can't wait to, I can't wait for you to give me your feedback on that. Okay. So let's go to it. So before we get to Moo, uh, let me do a couple of drivers for you. Psst. Hey, look at this. You know what that means? It's fall. It's off season time. Our favorite time to teach for Sav Moo and I. Get with us online once a week over the course of the winter. Get the changes made in your swing, the changes made in your routine, get some turbo into your swing, and then come springtime, it's time to get back out on the golf course and perform. The time to make the changes is now, not next spring. So check out the link below in the description and let's go. So. First thing I'm going to do is take a little rehearsal swing. So turn, left knee returns and pulls me into my finish. And I'm feeling that when that left knee starts to return, it really pulls the lower body forward. The lower body pulls the upper body through and that pulls the arm club unit through here. Notice how my hands get through first. Then the club comes down, collects, and then releases it in the direction of the target. So we got this beautiful chain reaction ready to go. I'm going to hit a little fade here. So I'm going to gather it. I'm going to release it left edge of that intermediate point. So gather all the way. Oh my. 
Great How swing. good is that? That was so tidy. Look at that gorgeous 290 yard shot. Spin rate was perfect. Had a good pop. Oh man, look at how sweet that impact was. Had some nice pop to it, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So clubs come in slightly up through the ball, perfect contact. And you can see coming into impact, look at my trail foot. You can see my trail foot staying on the ground all the way through. So this is really important. You can see my angle of attack is four degrees up. My path was four degrees slightly to the left. And if you look at, look at that. Perfect fade starting just left center and fading back to right center. So, and the smash on that was 1.54. Whoa. So, I gather everything returns from the inside. So when I have plenty of range of motion, I got plenty of rotational momentum, and I don't feel the need to push off my trail side, which for so many is gonna push out in front. So you get out in front and now you're hitting down on the ball, you're going left, you're blocking right, you're all over the place. But when you gather enough range of motion and you instigate with that lead knee, right? You feel that the, the legs essentially, the knees separate. See that? There's the yeah. Sam Sneed squat. Mm -hmm. Then the hands can come through. We got beautiful stability here through impact, the head staying back. And then we get brilliant shots like that. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah. let's see what lefty's got. And by the way, you know, we have this incredible speed training program that Moo's putting up. And he's gonna not only supervise your way of delivering the club with accuracy and speed, right. but you're also gonna build their bodies up to handle it. Yeah, so you, for the off-season now, uh, it's important that everyone has uh, a program to follow to, that you know, uh, follows along with the golf swing. Just and, started mine today. Yeah, and it kind of reinforces all the, the key components of the kinetic chain that you know we talk about. That's it. To help you kind of get through the ball and have more mass coming through the ball and, and increase your speed and stabilize all the areas of the, of the anatomy. What, one, of, one of the things that I found in my older age is, is in my, dim, you know, when I my muscle mass is diminishing mm -hmm. and it's exposing me for injury. You know, yeah. you still have that youthful exuberance. Yeah. But then all of a sudden your body can't handle the load anymore. Yeah. And, and that's where I, I really felt like, okay, now it's really time to do something for sure. Yeah. And so we got Ronnie, we got uh, Paul. Paul. Yeah. And so we've got a group of us that are really starting an amazing program with Moo and I have, imagine that, I've got my students to help support me in staying with the program. Yeah. And me, responsible for my students, I have to stay with the program. And come springtime, I'm thinking we're gonna be bombing the crap out of the ball. Yeah, so I got you doing a six month program right now that's, that's gonna it. get you ready. Well, by end of months. April, I'm gonna be busting it by you. I, I hope so, <laughs> it'd be good competition. Oh my, what'd you hit there? I hit the seven iron. Caught it on the fly a lot because it's a little fluffy. Here. Jeez, 212 carry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a seven iron. Look at that. How's it look on that? It looks beautiful, man. Thank you. Perfect angle of attack, minus three. Path was six from the inside. And this sucker just launched over the freaking snowy mountains. <laughs> 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 Look at that sucker go. You should have seen how high that was. Well, okay. Good miss. Good th yeah, Very okay. nice miss. Ah, just a little thin 204 7 iron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little thin, little, little heel, no big deal. Little heel, okay. So let's see you do a couple of practice swings, Moo, and, and put the emphasis on that lead knee. Sure. Show me what, what that would look like in slow motion. Yes, very good. That's exactly the move right there. Right. Very nice, all right. 
Yes. That looks a lot like Bryson's move, actually. Except you got a better grip than Bryson. <laughs> Shots fired, Bryson. Shots fired. How was that one? Thin tool seven. Thin to win, baby. Thin to win. Gorgeous. Thin to. All right, let's go with the drive and see what we got. Nice. Oh, beautiful ball. Perfect little fade. Hit that in the heel. Three th oh, did you hear the timber? <laughs> <laughs> That's Moo's ball hitting the trees at the back of the range. That was 313 carry in the warning is at the 300. So he's about two trees deep on that one. So club speed on that was just a paltry 120 miles an hour. Paltry. <laughs> Oh, that sounded pretty good. Yeah. Nice draw. Oh, did you hear that? Timber. <laughs> <laughs> 333 carry, 355 total. Club speed is now 128. Yeah, so the practice ring really helped me warm up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> just a little warm up. Let's just do one more. OK, let's do one so more. so much fun. There's no wind. There's no noise at this place, so I mean, did you hear the, how loud that tree was? Oh my God, whack. The trees are all flinching back there. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You should see how high that went. Oh my gosh. That was a little Healy. Oh, little ripping through the trees. <laughs> 325 carry. 126 miles an hour. Little little spinnier than the last one. Yeah, it caught that if you saw the, yep, the head. There's that's it. That was Healy. Healy. Good. Let's gee, let's see you do one more, man. Okay. Oh there, yeah. There we go was Base. over the clouds. Base was just a tad open. No, that was good. That was a good one. I, I can I'm 345 happy. carry, 136 club speed. Man, you, it's like you go up in, in, in sections of 10 miles an hour. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at that. I was right on the freaking center punch. How uh, gorgeous. How far was the backswing on that one? It was nice. gorgeous. So I, what you're telling me mm -hmm. is that Mo Norman's move of that lead knee clearing yeah. is something that you guys do in long drive all the time. Yeah. Because it helps dissipate the excess. Because you've got to turn out of the way or else your arms are just going to crash into you. Yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself in the process. So you have to um, be able to finish stacked and under control with all that velocity. You've you got to really open up. Yeah, you got to open up and like go towards the target. So... The goal is we turn our backside to the target. That includes the butt. Correct. Lead knee rotates in, heel comes off the ground. Yeah. Now we have rotational momentum that we need to use mm -hmm. to clear out. That's right. So that the arms can have full access to the target. That's right. And you're able to dissipate the excess without hurting yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. You want to get with Moo on his program, check it out at wisdomandmovement.com. And that's the abbreviated version that you'll see in the description. You'll see it right there. We'll write it down right there for you. And uh, so I highly recommend you get with Moo over the course of the winter. Get your speed up, get your physicality up, and come springtime, time to get out there and play some golf and go, go beat your buddies, right? With that, we hope you enjoyed our show, and uh, we can't wait to bring you more amazing content next week. All the best. Take care.
Hey, we hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to work with either myself, Sav, or Moo, check out the description below. And if you want more in-depth instruction with two minimum camera angles, check out wisdomandgolfpremium.com. See you on the other side. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out.